Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Day. My name is Draksh Pader. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the installation process of Microsoft SQL Server 2014. Well, as you already know that Microsoft provides a lot of tools to develop Windows application, desktop application, or maybe store applications. And uh, uh, if you're using uh, your Visual Studio, you may face that uh, they also provide some sort of inbuilt database tools to manage your database database based application. So uh, these uh, inbuilt application, these inbuilt tools for managing database are not that much efficient, or uh, they also not provide some great uh, tools for enhancement of data, or uh, maybe some uh, maybe for, uh, for some tweaks in database. Uh, so for that, uh, for that purpose, Microsoft provides SQL Server 2014 to manage uh, completely manage your database and uh, alter your database and um, quickly upload your database. So uh, in this process, in this video, I'm going to talk about the installation process as, as I already told. Uh, so let's see how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014. Uh, first of all, you have to download the files uh, and the file setup for the Microsoft SQL Server. Well, I have already downloaded uh, from my DreamSpark account. So let's uh, let me switch back to my uh, computer and let's see. Uh, if you can simply search on Google. Uh, There you can see a uh, lot of search results. Uh, I will suggest you to take the first search result. And there you can have uh, your download links. Uh, here, there you can see the details about the SQL Server, the uh, various file sizes for uh, different versions and uh, system requirements uh, uh, well i'm using windows 8.1 professional version so it will be yeah it will be fine and uh, there you can see some installation instruction that i'm already going to tell you and um, that that's it uh, you can simply click here to download a file and uh, installation will be done and uh, downloading will be done the next process will be installation and i'm going to talk about so i've already downloaded the scale file and uh, I have mounted the ISO file on my disk. So let me just open the ISO image. So there you can see the set of files. Uh, there are some uh, about uh, 12 items. And there you can see the set of file. Just double click on it. And they will ask you to uh, allow the user control settings. And this is basically the security window for of Microsoft. Just uh, click on yes, because you trust Microsoft applications already. Yeah, I would like to talk about the installation will take a little while because if you're installing the Microsoft SQL Server for the first time, uh, it will uh, predefine some catch and uh, it will also use your system information for proper installation. So as you can see, it's um, currently generating or gathering the information about your, uh, about your system. So uh, there we have our installation window. Uh, you can see a lot of a lot of options to install your uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Um, you can go through each of the options if you want to know about the details of uh, of your software. But I will suggest you to simply click on installation. And now you have uh, four options: new uh, SQL Server standalone installation, new SQL Server failover cluster installation. These options, uh, let me tell you about the two options. If you click on new SQL Server standalone installation, you are, uh, you are just installing a fresh copy of your SQL Server 2014 that hasn't been installed on your system. Uh, if you are clicking on new SQL Server failover cluster installation, that means your previous installation of SQL Server has been failed due to some reason, and now you are reinstalling the SQL Server 2014 on your uh, local system. And uh, third and fourth are simply upgradation. Uh, if you are upgrading your SQL Server from 2008 version or 2012 version to 2014 version, so uh, simply click on New SQL Server and Standalone Installation.
Uh, this might take a while because uh, as I already told you, uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 is a quite a heavy software and it needs a uh, uh, good amount of RAM. Uh, now, uh, there you have to enter your product key. If you are uh, evaluating the uh, product in the SQL Server, you can simply click on specify free edition, evaluation or express and then click uh, and then you can proceed. Well, I, I have my key and uh, since I am using a DreamSpark account, I get this software for free uh, to utilize. So, um, unfortunately, I can't share my key. So, you can proceed with specify a free edition or you can enter your product key if you have purchased the software. Uh, or both the process takes the same steps. So, just click on next. Uh, these are your license term. I suggest you to read the uh, complete license since I have already read the license. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the steps or the or the declarations. So I will simply accept the uh, license terms and um, yeah, simply click on next. Now they are simply checking their global rules as you can already see through the option um, rule check is in progress these steps might might take a while uh, but since i am recording this video i might do, uh, i will like to uh, make this video as short as possible so i will cut those parts uh, where where the software is taking a lot of time to install or load uh, don't worry about it uh, the software will uh, will be installed perfectly so uh, now they are asking for Microsoft update for SQL Server. If you are using internet or uh, some data packs and if you want to get updates from SQL Server 2014 and your, if you want to use the updated version of Microsoft, you can simply click on use Microsoft update to check for updates. And if you don't want to, you can simply leave that option. That's uh, not uh, that uh, much of priority. Um, well, I would like to get updates, simply get next. So uh, there we go, the installing set of files. Now, uh, as you can see about the install rules, uh, they are simply checking our consistency and uh, and the uh, system compatibility according to the software. Since uh, I have already .NET application security, Fusion Active Template, uh, but my Windows firewall is uh, attempting to block some installation rules. So there is not uh, that much problem. Uh, I've already passed the maximum of checks. So simply click on next. Uh, well, if you are getting some error, then I would suggest you check uh, why and check the reports and view the detailed report about your um, install rules. Simply click on next. And yeah, uh, SQL uh, Server feature installation. Simply next. Now, uh, there are a lot of applications, uh, sorry, uh, I will let, uh, there are a lot of features uh, to include in you know, SQL Server uh, installation process. Uh, there, as you can see, uh, since features like database engine service, SQL Server application, and in shared features like uh, client tools connectivity, client tools SDK. Uh, well, uh, you can select uh, some, some of the few options or you can select all. It, it's it based on you uh, it totally depends on you what softwares and what features you like uh, if you if you select all features you are going to require 6 GB of your system storage well I don't need that much so all right what's the what's the matter so I will simply click on select all and uh, all right. I will simply select all the options to install and uh, simply click on next. Uh, now they are asking for uh, instance ID and instance name. They are, these are simple default uh, configurations. I will suggest you to go with the default configuration if you are not using the SQL Server for uh, for enterprise or for, for high level and complex applications simply click on next 